coast to coast to make you smile. Thank you very much. I finally made it into a locker. All right. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. I, I've got a little show and tell thing to show you right here. My oldest daughter made this in school, and we're really proud of it. It's a diorama. See that? Those are actually dinosaurs in there. And it's hard to believe they're extinct when they look so powerful. Aren't they just... I'm scared. I'm frightened. And there's actual dirt in there. It's beautiful. I can't wait to take it to my locker. Kids. Kids are so great. Dad said not to use a slide until he came home from work. So I won't. So keep your eye on the ball. That was on the nose. Now keep a stiff upper lip. Is that enough cliches for you? Boy, I've been sitting in this water for three weeks. I'm getting fungi. I gotta get out. I'm a prune. Where did I leave my tub of moisturizer? Oh, here it is. That's not how I planned it, but what the heck? I gotta laugh. Yes, I, the great Jimmy, will make this ball vanish. Voila! Now, with the help of my tall assistant, Trixie, we will stand here and do nothing while I wonder where the heck the ball went. <laughs> Trixie, hurry, get Blackstone on the phone. Can't believe I'm gonna break 80. And that's just on the first hole. And now, to lightly tap it in. This is, this is wonderful. It's a new one by Mario Sisters. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just two women with mustaches hitting each other over the heads with mallets. I'd pay a couple for that. You know, it's easy to get hooked on a video game. See, look, look at that. See? Hence, a bit, and some videos. Where'd go? Where'd go? All right! Go on with your bad self. All right! Where'd go? Where'd go? All right! Here we go. The kid on the left is either electronically in tune to his friend's game or he's doing an impression of Joe Cocker. No harm in ten, though. Some people have a hard time finding our show on their cable systems. <laughs> There's a reason this show is called America's Funniest Home Videos. See, of all the video shows around the world, we're the first listing in the phone book. See, America. Nobody ever calls Zanzibar's Funniest Home Videos. See, that'd be a Z. It doesn't matter, because then again, they don't have clips like this either.
bet one day somebody makes a video game of this show. I can see it now. Maybe the idea is to get the little figure of me through the door, past the dreaded cat falling off the TV, and then little Bob is to dodge all those people falling down who never get hurt, right? And then you advance through the valley of the wedding mishaps. Grooms pass out right at your feet. You got a lovely woman there. You know, that kind of stuff. And then warp speed. Little Bob kisses up to his producer. It's much more dangerous than one might think. And you get attacked by an off-screen rabid stage manager off the side who hands you the winning cards. And then you announce the winner and you mesh in your honey and fly out the door that leads to nowhere. Phew. See, the real peril is every time little Bob tells a joke, his pants drop. Now, that would require good hand-to-thigh coordination. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I... I can't believe that happened. I... Oh, look how happy I am. Oh, I don't think my pants should be down. That wasn't a good joke. Oh, goodness. You know, I told my producers I'd only drop my pants if it was done in good taste. Ah, but now that they're down, I'm getting a draft. And... and making new friends. Here's an amazing video shot in a real video store. I gotta get through this. In Richmond, Virginia, by Steve Grove. I wanna pull them up. And Scott Miller, who had a lot of time on their hands, like I don't. Excuse me. <laughs> what a twist of that. These messages. Now back to America's Funniest Home Videos. America's Funniest Home Videos presents Balls, Balls, Balls. You've heard a tennis elbow. You're about to see tennis knee, ankle, toe, shin, thigh, and groin pole. I know what you're thinking. You've seen this video 50 times on our show. This is a little bit different, though. The woman on the right you're going to see catch the ball has eyes in the back of her head. Literally, she had surgery. And what a game! There's only one timeout left, and it belongs to the ball. serve Nancy because I understand their star basketball player is filling in for them tonight. Who's the star player? You'll know. See that funny video last Sunday? A guy hit his partner. <laughs> nice young guy on the aisle here. What's your name young guy? It's Sean, my neighbor. I forgot. I know that. You know, Sean, a lot of TV shows started in Japan, like this one. Did you know that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My Three Rising Suns. You ever hear that? Yeah. Sony and Cher. You ever hear that? No. Oh, I'm killing him in the aisle. Can you think of another one? Oh, you don't have to. Do you want to see some videos from Japan? Like a guy putting, uh, you know, like chocolate sticking it to his face. Would that be fun? Um, sure. Oh, well, okay. では、やってみます。どうぞ。Do you, uh, do you have any pets? No. 
Did you ever? Yeah. What happened? Dad killed him. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> he didn't really. Dad? No. No, no. <laughs> you ever seen animals come into your yard and, like, uh, take some of your stuff? You ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of animal? Stray cat. Stray cat. I like their music. That happens. You know, you have to accept this. Animals do take stuff. And why, why shouldn't they, you know? Because it's their planet, too, isn't it? Well... Well, we'll talk well. later. <laughs> Welcome to India. I am Jumbo of Customs and Immigration. Could I see your ID or passport? Just check your purse and see if you're smuggling anything. Like peanuts? Lady, how do you ever find anything in here? Oh, may I please borrow your eyeliner? <laughs> Oh, look at this. Those yuppie yo-yos have a picnic and look at the mess they leave. Well, better tidy up and recycle. I'm gonna stuff this back in the tree where it came from in the first place. Watch this country coming, too. They tied these people to the railroad tracks and somebody stole the tracks. Might as well jump on the bandwagon and steal their shoes. Ooh, that looks like my size. What is that, an eight? I'm telling you, with a shoehorn, I can squeeze into that. Ew, ever hear of socks? Yo! Be on the lookout for Light Pod Louie. Rob's convenience stores because he finds it convenient. Height, half a foot, nose, wet, and hair all over body. Use caution if discovered. He's known to carry fleas and anything else he can out of the store. <laughs> Guess what? It's Assignment America time. And we're looking to put your funny home video on TV. Our first $100,000 contest deadline is Friday, October 13th. So that's the 13th. So if you want a chance at 100,000 big ones, maybe you'll find your amazing KC in today, too. Post office box 4333. Hollywood, California, 90078. Write this address for full contest rules. And remember, your funny home video could be worth $10,000 or maybe even $100,000. What are you waiting for? Hey, send your tapes today. We'll be back after these messages. We now return to America's Funniest Home Videos here on ABC. Our Funny Signs assignment has significantly sent you into submissive submission of sent-in signs. Surely you show sensational sensitivity to the science of science studies. What did I just say? I just, uh, just keep sending them in and we'll show them. Do I sense a hint of bitterness? <laughs> of course the cook's sickless. He doesn't eat here. <laughs> I hope this isn't truth in advertising. Well, Deborah, we'll just have to go through Idaho to get to Seattle. <laughs> Unless it's pushing up daisies. <laughs> that sign points to our offices. <laughs> the postal carrier in these parts pole vaults from house to house. That's it. Now, I'm only going to show you this once, Jerry. That's how you do it. Okay, Dean, here I go. Flamin' boy, boy, I'm coming up. Oh, I hurt myself. Let me check out that cue card. Welcome to karate night. You idiot, you forgot to dot the I. Hey! <laughs> it took me a long time to stuff that bully into this bag, but now I'm going to give him what for? I could whip your butt even from inside this bag. <laughs> now let me out. Most honorable stick must be placed just so, in line with these metal things my dad uses for his car. Now it's very important that I bow to the stick. Okay, I must bow to the south. I must bow to the east. And of course, I bow to the north. Then it wouldn't hurt to bow to the south once more. And one more bow to the stick. Well, good luck. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
time to eat. <laughs> this is from the commissary. If you find this interesting or cute in any way, you should see the bulldozer that changes his diaper. so that I can hardly speak and I seem to find the, the happiness I seek when we're all together dancing chick to chick heaven I'm in heaven and the kids that hung around me through the week but this was my shot of the day do it I found my 15-month-old covered in chocolate. Let's see. Security camera and a mini mart. Nobody will know what I'm doing, huh? Nah, I don't want that popsicle. I want that fudgy nut pop way down there. Boy, huh? can't wait till I get older and my fingers will be longer. Just stretch my forearms a little bit more and... Boy, Jimmy, I must look dumb. Don't tell anybody about this, okay? The following is rated H for Hilarious. Coming soon, America's Grittiest Cop Show gets a lesson in love when the world's most adored TV star joins the force on NYPD Purple. You like me, I like you, I like guns and handcuffs too. Hi, Mr. Criminal, I'm your friend Bunny, and I'd like to share a special thought with you about honesty. How about it, kids? Yeah. <laughs> Don't cheat, steal, or lie, always try to share. Don't be a crook, or you could fry in the electric chair. Don't hijack the plane flying in the air. If you're happy, really happy, wear a smile. Stop. Wear a stop. Smile. I confess. Stop, stop singing. <laughs> Warning. This police drama contains adult situations, language, and lots of bare tushes. <laughs> NYPD Purple, finally a hard-hitting adult drama the whole family can enjoy. The siren on the clock goes free. <laughs> Our producers are on top of things. The network's been asking them to get off. They have cut the field down to three. Bob, announced them already. Our suits are coming back into style choices. They are the Christmas bra sent in by the Ross family from Owensville, Indiana. Golf Pro Junior, sent in by the Shannon family from Carville, Iowa. <laughs> Late Night at the Video Store, sent in by Scott Miller and Steve Grove from Richmond, Virginia. Quick pulling on the finger of the person next to you. Pick up your voting whizzy wig and lock in your votes right now. Who will it be? The Christmas bra, golf pro junior, or late night at the video store? Hey, we'll find out in a moment. Then we'll come right back after these messages. We now return with America's funniest home video. I'm so excited, I have happy faces all over me. And now, 
the results of this highly tacked studio audience's actual voting. Thank you. By the way, your, your wife called, and uh, she wants you to stop wearing her clothes to work. <laughs> Although I like that blouse. It's very attractive. <laughs> the second place, $3,000 winner is the Christmas bra sent in by the Ross family from Owensville, Indiana. And the winner of the $10,000 in this week's funniest home video is Late Night at the Video Store, sent in by Scott Miller and Steve Grove from Richmond, Virginia. That's stand up. It's unbelievable, unbelievable tape. Now, if I push you, the whole roll won't go, will it? A little playing off of what happened in the tape. Pretty clever. Anyway, uh, how long did it take you to do this thing? Uh, about six hours, I think. Six hours. How many tapes? Any idea? Yeah, um, about 2,300 altogether. 2,300. And some of them didn't go, like the big stack didn't go, just the top part of it? It was meant just, it was like a stand just to hold them up to go over. Oh, so it was, it was wasn't meant to fall. Right. So everything you did went off? Everything? Well, not everything, but almost everything. You didn't hook depth charges up to try to get the rest of them or anything? <laughs> well, it's really an interesting thing. And, and you work in the store? Yeah, I work at the store. And uh, customers in there? I mean, no, this, this was after we closed. Oh, okay, so it wasn't like a guy coming in going, please, I just want to rent uh, Frankie and Johnny, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, these tapes are gone. Well, congratulations, and we'll see you on the next 100,000. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Well, those guys are happier than four out of five dentists whose patients chew gum. So keep those cameras safely rolling. And honey, now that I'm home earlier, we can do all the things we wanted to do. Let's make those nifty potholders for your parents. Good night. Tomorrow, how your children can save you money at tax time. This is Charles Gibson. And John London, also the life and times of P.O. Salinger and funny man Drew Carey on Good Morning America. Tomorrow here on ABC. Now stay tuned for Lois and Clark, the new adventures of Superman, next.